What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Jay, aka Straight Drop Jay, and you're now watching Reason Gang TV. So today, we're gonna go over the Parsec 2 Spectral Synthesizer by Propellerhead. This synth is amazing. It has plenty of modifiers, it has a deep modulation matrix, and it has crazy effects. This is one of the best. We're gonna go over everything. Come on, let's go. Saw Square Mix. So we start there. That, that mixes from a saw to a square. Saw. All right, so we have, we have all our, our different uh, wave generators. Saw Square, Pulse FM, Dual Saw, String. All of these are amazing synths. And uh, they even have wavetables, sync sign. Wavetables are just mini samples. Um, perk, that's for percussion. So many different sounds, uh, so many different um, wave generators to begin with. But we'll start with the basics, saw square. All right, so Octave. Well, let me record something real quick so we could have something to play with. Quantas. Filter is, of course, a basic effect, however, it sounds really nice. Let me turn it down slightly. Okay, so this is the A engine. There's a B engine. We could layer it change to any sound fade from the balance now we know about the the generator i mean the engines we could we could scale back from both of them we can fade right here And now we come to the fun part, the modifiers. We have filters, EQs, syncs, pulse width modifiers, which is sort of like gates. We have filters, ensembles, which thicken it up like a chorus. Well, it's more like a detune, like a unison. That's, to me, Parsex trademark sound. I love it. Body wide, body narrow, body sweep, partial filters, harmonics, audio in if we wanted to bring any audio in and use it sort of like a vocoder, voice, harmonic stretch, pitch warp. All of these are really cool. The cool thing is four minute filter the cool thing is all of these can be modified to move and that's with the modulation matrix we're gonna go over that today but i just showed you a couple of modifiers x and y axis always control left and right up and down And you could layer, double layer them. These two modifiers apply respectively to A engine 
These two modifiers apply respectively to the B engine. Let's put some harmonics. Maybe a little low pass. Okay, so now that we have something going with four modifiers, let me show you how to make the envelope control them or the envelope two or or the the LFO one or the LFO two can control them. So to make it easy, I'll put I'll make this envelope control this, this envelope control this, this LFO control this, and this LFO control this. It's really actually easy. Envelope one, let's route that to modifier A1, and we'll pick one of these. A1, A mod one X. Now it's gonna control this. Depending on the mount we put. So that is actually doing this every time it's triggered it's going to according to this envelope according to the parameters there okay let's make this envelope to control the Y here we'll make it control that sound envelope 2 that would be modifier A2 Y and you see that as modifier A to Y turn the volume up I mean the amount and you see that effect that I was controlling now it's controlled by this now those are envelopes those that's a ADSR curve basically these parameters control an ADSR curve now an LFO is similar to an envelope, however it keeps repeating like like a motor. It keeps going over and over the revolutions. And instead of an ASDSR curve, it is a waveform that it follows. So we could pick any waveform. Pick something weird like this, it looks like a random. And let's link the LFO 1 to... Let's link it to this. To X on modifier B1. right here turn the mount up now this is controlling this now the rate is the speed the delay will just delay it before it kicks in we can scroll through these cool waveforms I basically just turned the, the balance all the way over here so we could hear only this side now. It sounds pretty cool, like a nice bell. So let's take the LFO2 and link it uh, to the frequency on modifier B2X. Modifier B2X right there. Slow that down. A little bit less than on the amount. Very cool sound. Let's fade that in together with the balance. Okay, now we have everything going. We used everything so far. We could um tempo sync if we wanted. I don't think we need it in this case because it's just a random filter with a re resonant peak. We could spread everything all spread just the highs or spread just the ab now this is a stereo effect very high quality it's i think it's akin to the hot the has effect which is delaying one side by very small milliseconds and creating a stereo effect that's what all sounds like that's just the highs and then this is spreading a a painting a left and b right to me all sounds the best
somewhere around the sweet spot. You don't want to go too much and be out of phase. Just nice and wide. Okay, now we have everything going. Let's, I feel like maybe we should automate this. So let's take this LFO too and use that not only on to automate this X, but let's automate the balance. So let's make an instance of LFO2. Look for the balance. It's right here. Turn the amount up. Sounding very nice. Okay. The range, that's the pitch range. We didn't mod we didn't hook the mod the mod wheel up anywhere. So let's do that real quick. Mod wheel latched. No, mod wheel regular. Okay. Turn that up. And let's see, what would we like to modulate? Let's give it a little bit of drift. All right. So we'll put it on generator B. Pitch. A very small amount. And let's hear it drift. Give it that analog tape drift sound. We could put it less for a more subtle sound. Okay, we have everything rooted. Now let's drop some effects, some reverb. Some delay is nice, always. Shorten this up so it doesn't drag. Now, one more thing we forgot to mention, the portamento. Gives it that stretchy sound. It stretches from whichever key to whichever it is the um, following key by a certain amount of time. Very subtle or very crazy. THX. Now, when I say THX, I, I just mean... I don't remember... I don't know if you remember the THX sound way back in the days, the, the movie... Sounds similar. Anyways. Okay, so. And this is your play mode. Polyphonic. Uh, mono retrig and mono legato. Now there's plenty more of things to modulate in here. As velocity. So you can modulate how hard you press the key. And link that to say a filter. And that would basically. If you press it softly. It would uh, filter. It, depending on the parameter. It would have a small value. Of say if you hooked it to the frequency it wouldn't cut off that much and then when you press hard on the velocity then it would uh it would filter more it would have a higher value so there's so many things in here you could link all the envelopes and you could even use the amp envelope right here your idea your main adsr and link that to any sound everything is linkable cv inputs mod wheels after touch expression everything it's an amazing synth and uh, here's a quick sound. <laughs> let's go and let's go through. Um, let's see if I have any sounds that were already made for Parsec. Let's see. Just to give you an idea of some of the sounds that. Uh, okay, here's here's a couple. Uh, let's go to one of the latest. Uh, Trap Lithium, yeah. And we could go through and I'll show you some pads that were that um I sound design with. Cool pad, here's a pluck. Even digital pianos, um, synthesized pianos. Let's turn it up. I can't hear it that much.
uh, some poly synths. Uh, let's go filter curl. What's that? Okay, guys, that's the Parsec 2. It's amazing. It has, it even has gate, um, CV, pitch bend, mod wheel, sequencer control, CV modulation. It's crazy. You could link anything. These are CV inputs, and you could actually modulate the X and Y modifiers separately. Uh, you could even modulate the balance from another device sending CV signals and amp. And a crazy thing is you could actually... Take a sample, maybe use a, one of the samplers, the NNXT or the NN19, even a Kong, anything triggering samples, and load the audio in mono and use it as a carrier signal for modulating in a vocoder reference. It's really cool. I'll go over it. It's a whole, um, it might be a whole segment. It's a little, com it's not very complicated, but it take, it's a totally different sound, but we could go over it in a future tutorial. I um I think the parsec's amazing. Hope you guys make some dope sounds. And until next time, thanks for watching.